Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Leslie Benavides, and today I'm going to be showing you what I'm packing for the Air Force BMT. So I am scheduled to leave on Tuesday, June 2nd of 2020. Due to the coronavirus, it doesn't look like I will be shipping, but there's always a chance that I will. So I am already packed. I'm prepared. I'm going to show you what I have packed. Um, as far as the clothing and the hygiene matter. So when you join, um, they do give you a list. They give you a list of what you should bring, like stuff that's mandatory and stuff that's not, and what you can have and what you can't have. So when you do get to BMT, they do provide you with a backpack full of things. Um, it's in this packet. Go ahead and just... You don't have to buy it, it just comes out of your check. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on what I'm packing for BMT. So this is the bag I'm bringing. It's just a small Adidas gym bag. It's the one that I used when I used to go to the gym. So that's what I'm putting my stuff in. So I have six sports bras, just black. Um, I didn't want to buy any that are color. No bright colors, I just have six and I folded them. I've been told that for sports bras when you're in, um, you shouldn't bring sports bras that have padding in them because when they wash clothes, the padding gets moved around and then you have to fix it. So it's just, it makes it harder sometimes, I guess. And then I have 12 pairs of underwear. Um, it's all folded, so I'm not gonna unfold it, but just remember, remember, remember to bring a lot of underwear. Obviously you should bring a lot of underwear anyway. I have six shirts that are folded, um, two dark blue and then three here that are black. And then I have another one that I'm going to actually wear to MAPS the day I ship out and it's gray. So I'm just choosing plain shirts, nothing with graphics, no buttons, no dressy shirts, nothing super expensive. I actually bought them from Walmart for like $2. So it's not something I'm gonna be using after BMT and I highly doubt that I will be wearing them in BMT. Just try not to bring anything expensive. So I am gonna be bringing my running shoes. I actually did buy another pair of running shoes. They're all black, but I was trying to break them in before I was leaving and they didn't feel as good as my regular running shoes that I had before them. I have nine pairs of socks. They're not all right here, but just basic socks. They use um like, laundry bags or whatever um in bmt i believe if something does happen i don't want my clothes to be mixed up with somebody else's clothes so you should mark your underwear mark your shirts mark your clothes right here it says lb those are my initials just find a label that you can write your initials or your name so you can tell the difference between your clothes and somebody else's clothes so this is not mandatory but i'm i like to use spandex so i have six pairs of spandex um navy blue and black, just two basic colors. Those are actually the preferred colors that were on the list. So that's why I got those colors specifically. And then I am bringing three pairs of jeans. There's no tears, no holes, um, no stains. I actually bought them brand new. You don't need to buy them brand new, but I did because I wanted new clothes. I don't know if I'll be wearing them in BMT at all, but I was told to bring at least two pairs of pants. Also another thing, um, I don't know if we're supposed to bring regular bras. My recruiter told me that I didn't have to, so I'm not going to. And I prefer sports bras anyways. And so I have like just some $3 um, sandals. I know that they provide them for you in BMT anyways, but I got them anyways. I like to be over prepared, so. And then I have a black belt and it has holes all the way around it because my weight fluctuates so I didn't want to have to make another hole in a belt. Also I have a little notebook. Now that I think about it I should have bought like just a black one. I don't know if they're gonna let me keep this but I'm gonna be writing uh, my parents address, my sister's address, um, anybody's address that I want to keep up with while I'm in and try to write to them. I'm going to just write it on a piece of paper in here probably the first first piece of paper okay so this is a little bag that i got for my hygiene stuff i don't know if they'll let me keep it but i will find out so 
obviously bobby pins i got two 72 packs and i also have another another pack that's on the bottom of my bag and then i have two 15 packs of hair ties and to keep my stuff together i put more hair ties on like my deodorant this is um gel deodorant with hair ties around it i have a big bundle of tampons just in case um i need anything or somebody else needs anything probably overpacked for that but just keeping it on the safe side and i packed two of these for your hair for your buns i don't know if we're gonna use these my recruiter told me that we were supposed to be doing our buns out of sock out of um making it from a sock or something but i don't know i saw another youtube video and a girl packed these so i also packed them another little thing of bobby pins there's 80 in here so i have a total of almost 300 just some brush little cheap brush um i also i'm also gonna bring another brush to like flatten my hair the way that like it is right now also i packed a little um travel size shampoo and conditioners i don't need these they're obviously gonna provide that stuff but like i said i overpacked and i have toothbrush and a little toothpaste that you get from a dentist so even though i'm probably going to get my backpack full of this stuff i would like to have extra just in case i need it or somebody else needs it also bring a charger you are gonna be able to um call your family on your phone so i'm gonna make sure my phone is charged i am gonna make sure that i do have an extra charger i'm gonna bring my airpods uh, so me personally i don't wear uh makeup but you can pack makeup because i do hear that when you're taking your pictures in your blues you are able to wear makeup for your picture not like a whole bunch but you are able to wear like a natural makeup look uh, maybe some lipstick or eyeliner or some mascara or something like that nothing too dramatic you can't have a bunch of eye uh, eyeshadow or anything like that so keep it in mind and you're also obviously not allowed to have fake nails acrylic nails gel nails um you're supposed to actually not have any polish so i'm gonna have to take this off before i leave when it comes to bills like your phone bill car bill insurance um anything that you have to pay make sure that you set up auto pay with it because you're not going to be able to pay with a check or anything for the entire time that you're at basic training so you're not able to take any over-the-counter medications you're not able to take any supplements like protein or pre-workout or anything like that creatine and you can't take food you can't take your own beverages you just can't do that another thing you're not able to have is mouthwash um because it has alcohol in it and so they think people are going to drink it and try to get drunk off of it and you can get really sick from that so you're just not able to bring mouthwash and you're able to have um a black watch like plain like all black but you're not able to have like an apple watch smart watch fitbit anything along those lines you can't have it so yeah that is all that i'm packing for bmt for now just another tip um make sure everything you're getting is travel size do not make it any bigger than travel size because you will not be able to bring it on the plane to basic training so i hope this video was informational i hope it helped you um see what i was bringing maybe give you ideas on what you should bring or what you shouldn't bring um, make sure you're just really prepared in, in what you're bringing and make sure you're able to bring it before you actually try to bring it because you don't want to start off on the wrong foot when you do get there or even when you're at MEPS or at the or at the airport. I am supposed to be leaving. Um, coronavirus kind of messed up the whole entire schedule for a lot of us, so still looking forward to it. Hope that I leave when I'm supposed to. So thank you for watching. So follow my Instagram, follow my Snapchat, and subscribe to my channel, and like this video.